you spoke about uh, how seven districts account for a bulk, then there are another eight and then uh, another 11 districts, uh, 18 and 11 districts. What are your plans for relocating or ensuring that newer industries come up in these other districts? How will you do that? In fact, uh, we have been spending a lot of money in these districts also. But somehow we realize that uh, our spendings are stereotypes. They are not creating wealth. They are not attracting the businesses. So for all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, districts, we started preparing uh, a district strategic plan. And I am Nagpur is one of our partners in, in creating these district strategic plans. So I think for the first time, uh, we have made district as a focus. And we are actually uh, assessing the strengths of the district. And henceforth, all our schemes and our investments will be focused on the strategy which is charted by these uh, strategic uh, plans. And I'm sure that if we invest properly, we'll create an ecosystem in all these districts so that businesses are attracted, uh, new opportunities are created. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, now I've talked about this Nagpur Mumbai Expressway. This expressway itself has opened up doors for 14 districts to transform themselves. So I think with this strategy, we'll be able to do that. One of the things that you mentioned, solarization and other states are looking at this because this is a very important issue that our farmers need uh, as much support as they can get. In the long term, how much do you think you'll be able to achieve in terms of reducing the cost of farming? Because uh, manpower is utilized there and its contribution is just 10%, but I'm sure you have a plan to increase that further. That's true. You see, uh, it's because of small holding of lands that uh, the farmers are not able to invest. Their capacity to invest is very low. And today the input, input cost has gone up. So now our entire plan is to increase their capacity to invest. See, whenever there is a drought, we provide thousands and crores of rupees to, uh, to the farmers. That is also important. But if the same amount is invested, we can transform the agriculture. And that's what we have started. Now in 10,000 villages, we are actually transforming the primary credit societies into multi-purpose agribusiness societies which will provide a direct market linkage to the farmers. We are providing them moisture security through various schemes like Jaluk Shiva, which is a water conservation model. Every single village should be water self-sufficient is our motto. So I think this capacity to invest, if it increases, that will bring sustainability and that will also, you know, uh, enhance their capacity to produce value in agriculture. A couple more points because we are uh, short of time and one of them is the fact that Maharashtra, not now but forever, is known as the land of uh, small companies, MSME startups and entrepreneurship. And if you were to do a ranking there also, I think Maharashtra would be at the very uh, top. That sector of the economy has gotten a lot of support in the last 10 years. At the state level, uh, what do you have to say in terms of further uh, boosting the MSME segment? I think uh, you have rightly said, in fact, the entire growth in industry majorly comes from MSME. And that is why we have, uh, if you look at uh, our industrial policy, uh, which uh, I created and now we have revised it, there has been huge thirst on helping MSMEs. The central government has also come up with most of their schemes to help MSMEs. And I think MSMEs are actually providing a lot of jobs to, to, to our people. So this linkage, we are actually uh, you know, trying to enhance and we are closely working with uh, all the industrial organizations. We are trying to uh, troubleshoot uh, their problems. Because in industry, 
I know that uh, people encounter a lot of problems. So how it becomes, you know, uh, hassle-free? Because today, uh, ease of doing business and cost of doing business, these are the two things which determines the entire ecosystem. And we are trying to work more on ease of doing business and we are trying to bring down the cost of doing business. That is our strategy. Uh, in the recent past, uh, Maharashtra lost out uh, on certain large mega investment uh, projects and you gave some data. By the number of projects, Maharashtra still leads in terms of number of FDI projects, but Gujarat has uh, taken much more of the value. Uh, what can you share with us with regard to big ticket uh, projects coming to the state? I think big ticket projects have always come to Maharashtra, but in Maharashtra, I always tell uh, our people, especially our bureaucrats, that we can't be complacent. There was a time when uh, Maharashtra was a leader and few other states were actually trying to become leader. Uh, Tamil Nadu was there, Karnataka was there, Gujarat was there. Today, it's such a competitive federalism that almost 10 to 12 states are actually doing a lot of work on bringing investments to their state. And, you know, when a new state enters into this way, it has a capacity to actually give, you know, a uh, lot of promises because they are without baggage. But having said that, when I interact with the businesses now, and when they tell me that, look, this state is giving us more and you are offering me less. I tell them, look at my track record. They have promised, but they have not delivered. Their incentives have not come for four years, five years. While my incentives are paid every year. And I think that plays like a magic and we get the investment. So, I think, I don't think that every investment should come to me. Investments will go to other uh, states as well. But, yes, I am competitive and I am competent to take any investment. We are in Nagpur, we are in Nihan, we are in our Nikat. My last question is for you today. You are listening to Mumbai, I am also in Rahum, I have also studied in childhood. Which will be the new Mumbai in Mumbai? I think that we don't have to be ready to do a new Mumbai. The Mumbai is the one that is Mumbai, the new Mumbai. We are preparing for a third Mumbai, which is ready for the new Mumbai airport, which is ready for the Trans Harbor Link, which is ready for a new opportunity. As Mumbai is ready, as Pune is ready, as Nagpur, as Chitrapati Sambhaji Nagar, as Nachik, we want to be ready. After this program, I am going to go to Infosys. And a very iconic facility in Infosys has been ready. I am going to go to Infosys for the first time. Two days ago, I have been ready for the Indemar and Airbus, which is going to work for our helicopters. Today, we can see that इंडिगो की एक फैसिलिटी मतलब इंडिगो के लिए एमआरओ की फैसिलिटी इंडिमार फेब्रुअरी में एक शुरू कर रहा है अब एक फैसिलिटी अभी यहाँ है कि जहाँ पर सौ से ज़्यादा फ्लाइट्स का अभी रिपेयर एंड मेंटेनेंस हुआ है अभी यहाँ पर जो डसो और रिलायंस का जो एक जॉइंट वेंचर चलता है वहाँ पर मुझे जो फ्रेंच एम्बेसडर है वो कह रहे थे कि बाई ट्वेंटी हम पूरा फाल्कन टू जो उनका एक आइकॉनिक बिजनेस जेट है वो नागपुर में तैयार कर देंगे तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अभी ये इकोसिस्टम तैयार हो गई है मिहान में हो गई है और नागपुर ये जीरो माइल सिटी है तो यहाँ पर हम लोग लॉजिस्टिक्स के बारे में बहुत ज़्यादा वर्क करना चाहते हैं एक इकोसिस्टम तैयार हो रही है एक हम लोगों ने एक नया लॉजिस्टिक हब नागपुर में तैयार करने का विचार किया है तो मुझे लगता है कि नाव हम लोगों को किसी के पीछे या किसी के जैसा नहीं होना है हम लोगों को अपने स्ट्रेंथ पर एक अपनी अलग इमेज तैयार करनी है वो महाराष्ट्र में हर हमारा शहर कर रहा है जीरो माइल संवाद महाराष्ट्र की बात देवेंद्र फडनवीस जी के साथ आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देवेंद्र जी प्रश्न बहुत थे बट मैं देख रहा था अपने लिस्ट में से सारे प्रश्न आपने एक एक करके बिल्कुल सिक्सर और फोर्स मार के हटा दिए फिर कभी आपके साथ समय मिलेगा आपका बहुत 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 धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच